Hello everyone, today I want to show you three new Media Composer features that were introduced in 2021. Alright, the first one is a timeline feature. A while ago, Avid changed the behavior of clips that you override in your timeline. So like in this case, if I move a clip up and down and I move one of the clips on top of the other one, but then keep moving it, it's still there. But now Media Composer lets you decide with a right click in your timeline if the clip is actually being overwritten or not. So if you select Move Clip Leaves Filler, you are actually overriding the clip now. You can change this at any time by just right clicking again and deselecting Move Clip Leaves Filler. And of course, this also works when moving clips to the right side or the left side. The next new feature is a bin feature. If you select a clip or sequence in your bin, Media Composer now shows you the duration of the clip at the bottom of the bin. If you select several clips, you can see how many clips have been selected and how long all those clips are combined. This even works when selecting clips and sequences together. So if you have several sequences that you're planning on combining, you don't have to calculate anymore, you don't have to cut them into one sequence anymore to see the total running time. You can just select them in your bin and you'll see the duration instantly. And after selecting items in your bin, you can move your mouse over the text and it will give you a list of what you have selected. So if for example you have a lot of clips in your bin and you want to make sure there is no sequence in there, you can select everything with command A and just move your mouse down here. Okay, and the last feature I want to show you is a bin grid. If we change our view to bin view here and you right click into your bin, you can select snap to grid and enable a visible grid. And even better, there are a couple more options. If you right click and go to snap to grid, you get a temporary grid. You'll see it by holding a clip for a second and it disappears once you let go of your clip again. And my personal favorite, the invisible grid. Just by moving your clip, you kind of see where your clip is going to snap into the grid. It's pretty obvious once you move your clips because your clip kind of snaps from one line to the next one. So I can organize everything really nicely, but don't have to wait for the grid to appear or disappear. Check out my other Media Composer tutorials as well. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.